He held up this credit union using a rifle, and then he made his way through this parking lot with an untold amount of cash, walked through it, and then across the street through a party store parking lot. Three guys saw him there and risked their lives to help catch him. Only on 7, video of a man trying to sneak away after allegedly holding up a credit union. You can see he's trying to hide a rifle under a blanket and cover his face as he walks through a parking lot on the way to his getaway truck. What he doesn't know is that the men in the neon vest at the top of your screen watched him leave the bank and they're about to follow him. He had a black mask on and we noticed him immediately, but uh, he also had a gun covered in a blanket. Sandy, Steve and Ron all work for Garden City's Department of Public Works. They were on break and parked at the credit union here at Merriman and Warren. I drove right down there behind him and to get his license plate number and then he noticed us there right behind him and, and took off. And here's where things get crazy. The suspect ends up slamming his truck into a house in Garden City after taking police on a high-speed chase. He fired off a single shot from his Colt AR-15. Then it got jammed. The woman who lives here was plenty surprised when she got home. I couldn't get to my house and I was like, oh my God, is that my house? And I just sprinted down here. Police arrested the suspect who was trapped in the truck. They have not identified him, but we tracked him to a home not far from the crime scene. His ex-wife told me off camera he's extremely depressed and told her this morning that she may not see him again. In Garden City, Tom Waite, 7 Action News.